everybody, welcome to this Friday painting called Swim, Fly, Wonder, which first of all is a pretty strange name for a painting, but I thought it would fit with what I do here. So I'm sketching out a fishbowl because this painting is my take on the March challenge of the Lockery Artist Group. And first I thought, oh, this is gonna be difficult, but then again, not so much. Um, since I'm uh, still filming this in March, I uh, use watercolors and I think that challenge would have been way easier for me with acrylics because then I could layer a kind of a surreal painting. But with watercolors I can't really achieve that much uh, for, for the surreal kind of a style that I had in mind. So. I try to, um, well, adjust my idea for watercolors. That's why there is a fishbowl, a butterfly and a painting or a picture of the universe that is currently sketched out and I'm now tracing everything with my markers to give it the illustration-y kind of a style. Now the challenge was to comp pose a painting with something that uh, flies, something that swims, and either moon, stars, or uh, the sun. Now I didn't go for the sun, I th first thought, ah, oh, maybe have an open window with sunlight in the background of the fishbowl, but then you would see only the uh, sunshine rays or the light that comes from the sun, but not the sun itself. So uh, I went for a painting or a picture of a moon and Jupiter uh, instead. So for the watercolors, I'm staying pretty uh, muted in the complete painting, um, especially though in the section of the butterfly and the fish. I'm, for the background on the table and the wall, I will use um, very greyish kind of colors, though I have pink and uh, brown mixed together for uh, the major tone. And the, um, well, the brightest part, I think, is that sandy area in the fish bowl. It will be toned down quite a bit, but uh, that bright yellow is, I guess, the the brightest color in the whole painting there. So I'm shading with um, Van Dyke Brown uh, throughout pretty much the whole painting and also a warm dark blue, especially on the wings of the butterfly, but also uh, as a shading underneath the fish and the plant and stuff. So once I had <laughs> my main, uh, well, details colored, I went for the very soft coloring of the table there. You can see there is a greenish yellow kind of a tint to, to the page or to the part that is, I think, a tablecloth. I don't know what you see, that's at least what I see. And I again shaded with a sepia brown or Van Dyke brown, whatever you want to call it, and a bit of uh, a dark warm blue. Uh, for the background itself, it's a wall paper and I chose a purple, um, a very soft purple for uh, the background. So I had to compose that frame, that picture frame in colors that would fit so that everything again looks kind of tranquil and serene and calm but still there is enough interest on the page to look at so uh, the challenge actually was to paint water or glass with watercolors not to have too harsh lines but still have the um, the illusion of water there. Water isn't blue um, and therefore it was it was kind of tricky to intensify the water line 
as much as needed but not too much to have it look weird so I <laughs> well I had to really work on that but in the end I think it, it worked out quite well for the frame I did something that is not well the first thing you'd probably think of when wanting to um, have a brownish kind of a frame so I had the same yellow and the same purple that I already had used in the painting combined them which made this grayish kind of a muddy brown that uh, I shaded with a dark blue and a dark brown now this I think helps along with the color repetition have everything look harmonic but still that um, it's, it's a weird color, it kind of stands out because usually you don't compose uh, or you don't paint yellow and purple in layers. It, it makes a weird color, kind of a mauve color, I don't even know what to call it. But it it's, uh, stands back enough and is recognizable enough or is prominent enough to work for this painting, I think. I wouldn't have done that with other media but uh, with the watercolors, I think it works out. Uh, once I had all of my colors laid down, I just uh, went over the painting with watercolor pencils, a purple, a black, and a very dark blue to help along the glass um, effect of the painting and having very fine shaded lines, especially at the rim of the glass. After that, I just peeled away the masking fluid that I had put on the paper for making stars and uh, then went over uh, the painting with a white gel pen to add some white lines as, as a bit of, well, I don't know, uh, a detail there. It's, you can not really see it first glance but it's there and that's enough so that's my painting i hope you enjoyed watching along if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comment section below and i will see you tomorrow on the new vlog and next friday with a new painting have a very good day and take good care bye